My name is Fredrik Strömer. I work as a thermal specialist at Alphalaval. Freezing can be a problem for our customers. Like when you have applications where you go below zero degrees, chillers and heat pumps, especially when you run defrost mode for heat pumps, it can be a problem. If ice is trapped in a heat exchanger with no possibility to expand, it's not good because it will expand and the plate will be deformed. And it, I mean, if you repeat this in a defrost cycle, for example, several times, it will ultimately lead to uh, internal leakage. The solution we developed is what we call iSafe, and that is two strategies. One strategy is how we make a robust design on the plate, and the other part is that we provide guidelines for our customers how to operate the heat exchanger. The robust design, we want to remove the parts where ice can be trapped on the plate, and we have experience in this. So basically, for the ISEF products, we have removed those parts of the heat exchanger. Normally, it's in the bottom uh, part of the heat exchanger, uh, close to the ports, where you have low water velocity. So basically, we remove that part, and we uh, also ensure that we have a good distribution, because a high velocity means less uh, risk for ice uh, can be formed. The guidelines that we provide, it's, uh, you can take this example that you, you need to cool water down to four degrees. Then you need something colder than four degrees. And this temperature, you don't know it because you cannot measure it or it, it's very difficult to measure. In our lab, we have been doing extensive lab testing for evaporators, finding these parameters where we reach the critical condition. And based on those, we have created models and these models have we used to create the guidelines for our customers. You can never like uh, get rid of the ice. I mean, if you have temperatures below zero, there will be ice. But what we have done is we have minimized the risk that the customer will have a problem with ice.